Begin with an unsettling situation in a local neighborhood. Residents warned to stay inside their homes as police search for a gun wielding suspect. This was in the town of Westport overnight off Division Road. For hours, police scoured the woods near the Dartmouth line before finally making an arrest. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke with a neighbor who saw this large operation unfold. She joins us now live in Westport with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Steph. This was a massive police effort. 40 officers, a SWAT team, and state police helped catch the suspect in the woods. Down a quiet dirt lane off Division Road in Westport, Sean Leach says police swarmed his front yard Saturday night. They told us to stay in the house. And after that, we saw about, I don't know, 20 or 30 different uh, types of police cars, state armored vehicles, police sheriffs, police helicopters circling above and canine units. Police say they were searching for this man, 43-year-old Paul Boudria. They got a call that he attacked a relative and her daughter with a gun that belonged to another family member. Police say he threatened to shoot and then he hit the woman and her daughter with the rifle before fleeing into the woods with a gun. We got a robo call uh, probably about 10 o'clock last night that there was an armed suspect in the woods and white male with a red sweatshirt. Neighbors waited inside all night. The roads blocked off. I had no idea what was happening. As police searched the woods using infrared technology from above and canines on the ground. After about six hours, it was a canine that found Boudria as he made his way back towards his own house. Police say they found the rifle in some bushes. Uh, this pretty quiet part of town and not much goes on here. Boudria is charged with assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, plus assault and battery on a child, also unlawful possession of a gun. He's behind bars until his arraignment tomorrow. We're live in Westport with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.